Hello everybody, I am Slash and DC. This is Vulture for NetHack. I'm playing as I usually do with the love of my life and my favorite person, Nai Maria from Nimcraft. Hi Nai. Hi Slash. It's Valentine's Day. We're on Twitch. We're playing our favorite game. It's a good day. That's how we do Valentine's. We this do it how right, we do it. man. We don't spend hundreds of dollars on crap that we don't need. No, we no. might go out to the movies later. Yeah, but we're going to just play our favorite game with our favorite person. <laughs> yep. This is how nerds get romantic. Right. That's why it pays to be a nerd. So happy Valentine's Day, viewers. Happy Valentine's Day, Twitch and YouTube. Twitch and YouTube. So we're going to start. <clears throat> um, if you're joining me, my uh, I don't know when I'm going to publish this video. I think I might publish it, you know, while I'm still doing my Samurai playthrough. You should probably publish it today so. since today's Valentine's Day. Yeah, and let's if you do wait it. a week. <laughs> It might not be relevant. Right, it might not be relevant anymore. But uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube, don't panic. My samurai is still alive. We're just going to start playing a healer today for fun. <laughs> yeah, your samurai is alive because you're imploring the age-old wisdom of keeping a character alive by not playing it. By not playing it. <laughs> That's right. All right, I'm going to go with a healer. I'm going to try a gnomish healer just for fun. I'm going to go with a male, though, even though that's not the card from the steam you know trading deck right but i uh i don't know i feel weird playing a female in this game so here we go from the book of hermes after the creation the cruel god moloch rebelled against your the authority of marduk the creator moloch stole the amulet etc 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 go bravely with hermes I always read that so i know what my god's name is and as a healer we are going to start with a scalpel for a weapon which apparently is not that great I've been reading up on the healer, by the way, so spoilers. A uh, pair of leather gloves, got to do that, you know. Some apples, all right. Potions or spell books of healing and extra healing. I've also start with stone to flesh, so I'm not going to starve to death. And well, I you get, can't cast that until you're much higher level. Yeah, probably not. I'll check and see. And then we'll start with some potions of healing, extra healing, and blessed extra healing potions, a wand of sleep, and a stethoscope. Do you always start with a wand? Do you always start with a wand? I think you always start with a wand of sleep, yep. Oh, it's always sleep. Okay, I didn't know if it was like a random wand, like wizards get random wands. Uh, yeah, because <clears throat> you, uh, you're a surgeon. You got a scalpel, you got a wand of sleep, so that's your anesthesia. You've got a stethoscope, you got all that stuff. That's some good <clears throat> anesthesia, you just zap them. I'm going to engrave identify this wand that I picked up on the floor. And uh, looks like it's going to be a wand of polymorph. Well, that could prove interesting. So I've got some ideas about you know what we're going to do new. We've done a few playthroughs. We want to keep it interesting, right? So I'm going to try. Uh, that's interesting. Oh, auto pickups on. As per usual, let's get that off. I don't like that. Uh, maybe try some credit cloning today. Maybe try some. Uh, some protection racket. See how that goes. You know, I think that later today, possibly, or tomorrow, whenever I do my stream, I'm going to debut the new Vulture for Slashing. Oh, yeah? Cool. I mean, it's just in its alpha, so hopefully, you know. Lightning. Holy moly. Wow, okay. This is a lucky run so far. <laughs> Wand of Polymorph. Oh, wait. You see, if I'm going to do the protection racket, I don't want to kill that fox and then wind up leveling up. Let's see if I'm fast enough to outrun him. No. I'm not. So let's zap him with the Wand of Sleep. And heal up. And run for it. You're going to try to get through the Gnomish Mines without attacking anything? Oh, I was thinking about it, yeah. Wow. We'll see. Now, apparently there is a way to de-level yourself. Uh, more spoilers for people here, but uh, apparently if you want to de-level yourself for the protection racket, you can pray until you tick your god off, and he will eventually de-level you. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Here's another pro tip I picked up from the wiki. Uh, healers are good at using darts, and an easy way to get darts is to continually step on a dart trap. 
Uh, we've got three darts by doing this so far. And some of the darts are going to be poisoned, which would kill, you know, possibly kill a first level character. But not me because I start with poison resistance. And my dog's not going to be able to go through this door because there's a trap directly in front of it. Um, so I was just healing up while I've got him close to me. Oh, here comes the fox. There we go. A step on the other side of this trap. I wonder if the fox will step on the trap. If I know it's there, he should. No, he did. He stepped on it. Come on, dog. Kill him. He didn't get hit, though. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Drink that potion of healing. <laughs> Fine. It's too bad you didn't start with a wand of healing. Uh, you know, I've also got the healing spell. I wasn't thinking about this. Um, oh, and the extra healing. I've got nice. the extra healing spell, too. I don't think it raises your hit points when you cast it, like a blessed potion of extra healing will do, or a potion of extra healing. And I can cast Stone to Flesh, too. Look at that. 64% yeah. fail, so no problem. Got You know, those apples aren't going to go very far. I uh, doubt, but <clears throat> Stone to Flesh, supposedly keep you full all the time. Now, because I won't be killing any monsters, hopefully, if this works out, then this dog's going to level up pretty quick. And I read that one thing you can do is cast a healing spell on your pet in order to keep him alive and fighting. When the going gets tough, I mean... I, if I remember right, I've attempted the protection racket like once. And I said, you know, that's not for me, and I didn't try again. But... I think my skills may have improved since then. We'll see. Come on, doggy. I need you. Now, there are some crazy people out there who actually do a pacifist conduct throughout their playthrough. Yeah, you should do that. Yeah, that's not. That's definitely not for me. Oh, come on. That's never going to be for me. <laughs> All you have to do is just not hit something. Uh, right, ever. During the whole game. Mm -hmm. And if you can ascend a character with the pacifist conduct, I have no idea what effect that has on your score. I hope it is an unbelievable bonus to your score. There's a goblin over here, doggy. Hey, thanks for the dagger. <laughs> grid bug. Kill that grid bug. There you go. Good boy. So, are you lawful? Am I lawful? I am neutral. Neutral. Mm -hmm. I think all healers start neutral. No, oh, because you got to heal anybody, right? All right, yeah. You can't be picky. You can't be like, well, I'm a lawful healer and you're a chaotic patient. I'm not going to heal you. No, you got to be neutral. They don't even let you uh, enroll in medical school without being neutral. <laughs> Picking up a few armor pieces here, I'm glad to see, but of course I need to find out if they're cursed before I start trying them on. I say YOLO it. Just put it all on. YOLO it, yeah. <laughs> uh-uh. I mean, you know what? It's not a bad idea. Not a terrible idea, anyway. Here's some food. Well, we're not going to starve to death uh, anytime soon. You might want to wait for your pet. Oh, you might want to. Yeah, I'm getting a little far from the. Uh, what is that? 25. A little far from the dog, aren't I? The guy's my lifeline. Where's the staircase down? Oh, it's over here on the other side of the map. There it is. Of course, I'd hate to pass it up. It could have been on dungeon level two. But I feel like it's going to be on three or four. Yeah. I guess the dog's not hungry. So I was reading on the forums for Vulture for NetHack that the healer icon has been updated. And now it looks exactly like the priest icon because there's some controversy about way back in 2003. Whoever made the absurd tile set may have taken a 100 by 100 pixel image from a book or something that he saw on the web and it was actually copyrighted and then it wound up in Vulture or something like that. So I guess I look like a priest right now. Yes. That, I think, will be my next character. 
but that's looking way into the future, isn't it? Whoop, is that a is that alive or dead? Oh, that's a sewer rat. <laughs> it's alive. Doggy. It's a live sewer rat. When the uh, if the Twitch chat room lights up at any point, we'll start the uh, pet naming game. That was really fun when we did that on your stream, I thought. Yes. Oh. Are you going to kill that sewer rat? The most fun I had on my streak was drinking several potions of hallucination. Yeah, that was hilarious. And we were trying to decide then whether some of the monster names were... Um, only, <clears throat> excuse me, only generated when you are hallucinating. Because there was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. That's the one that really blew my mind. <laughs> right. I was thinking, are there really Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in this game? Yes. Ah, here we go. We get to try this out. So there's a boulder. I'm going to cast Stone to Flesh. No, because I don't have enough energy to cast that spell. Oh. So, yeah, okay. You're going to have to level up a little bit. I bet two or three. You'll have to be level two or three. Newt. Ah, run for your life. It's run, for the, <laughs> run for your low level. Oh my god, I just realized what I'm doing. It's like Dark Souls all over again. I'm doing a low level play. Right? No. You're addicted to low level play. No. I mean, I knew that about myself, but I didn't realize that I was uh, carrying on the same <laughs> tradition. I, just, I'm going to level up. <laughs> oh, here uh -oh. comes a big rat. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Run for it. Now I am running for my life. Oh, you slow. Of course, in a low-level playthrough on uh, Dark Souls, I mean, you still have to kill things. Well, yeah, but there's no experience levels, so just as long as... You know, you've got the opportunity to level up if you want in Dark Souls. <clears throat> so, it's a choice. On this one, if you kill something, it's just, uh, you level up whether you like it or not. There's a lichen. Kill that rat. Good job. I cannot Will escape. Kill a lichen? I have not seen that message in so long. You cannot escape from the lichen. The lichen is holding me. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to have to kill him. Uh-oh. Don't kill that thing. Okay, here's another spoiler for people who want to get spoiled. I want to get spoiled. You want to get spoiled? Cool. Not in uh, this game, just in life. Oh. Apparently, you can practice your dagger and dart skills on gas spores until you level up your skills. You hit him with a couple of darts. Mm -hmm. Then you cast a healing spell on the gas spore so that he doesn't die and explode. And then you hit him with some more darts and rinse and repeat until... Uh, yeah, but won't that level you up? If you never explode him, it'll level up your skill in darts or daggers. But uh, you won't level up because you never kill him. But um, that strikes me as being time-consuming. <laughs> you think? <laughs> nah. Only take about 30, 45 minutes in one room casting darts, healing. Right, yeah. That would be exciting to watch. Oh, yeah. Even more exciting than credit cloning, practically. Let's go check this room just for fun. Got another helmet. Aha! I'm glad I checked. So here's the split to the mines. Let's go check this staircase. Carrying too much to get through. Only after I picked up the helmet. That's a lot. Let's see where this goes. Uh, looks like the mines. Yes. Oh, yeah, this is the mines. All right. All we got to do is get through the mines without leveling up and without getting killed. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, no problem. No problem. I'm thinking, though, I'm going to drink these. Uh, you just don't hit anything and, and ask things not to hit you. Okay, guys. Okay, I drank my extra healing potions. I'm experience level one with 24 hit points. It makes me feel pretty comfortable with, you know, sure. my survival chances just went up quite you a bit. You might take one hit. That's good. I, yeah, I mean, I can take one hit, one hit from a dwarf. <laughs> yeah. Depending on what kind of pickaxe he's carrying. Now, I'm going to cast healing on my dog. Oh, yeah, he looks better. So, that's good. he might have needed that. What's here? Just a corpse? Maybe I've got time to eat. Let's try it. 
Yep. Cool. Looks like I've got a little infravision going on. I, I don't know how or why. What is he invisible or it's peaceful? Oh, looks like maybe I can see peaceful gnomes at a distance because they're my brethren. Maybe I don't know. So you can see peaceful animals. Yeah. That's weird. Looks that way. I'm not sure. Crossbow. Don't want it. Did you kill that gnome? Ugh, bad dog. Well, you didn't kill it. Now, you know it would be nice. It would make this a lot easier. Pick up a uh, pickaxe. And then I could just dig my way down. Oh, ow, ow. I thought the dog got that guy, but he didn't. Yes. You there need we go. That. You need to get a pickaxe. He leveled up. Let's uh, give or him some healing. Digging. Yeah, that'd be great. But, of course, I mean, let's not forget my emergency kit right now. It does consist of a wand of lightning, so that's perma Elbereth right there. Oh, sure. doggy. Come to me. We're going down. What's your dog's name? I haven't named him. <coughs> she named him Socrates. Okay. Your name is Plato, right? Yeah. Sounds like a good fit. Here we go. What do you want to call the dog? Socrates. There we go. You know, all these Greek names is reminding me of my old uh, Nietzsche reading, you know. He had strong opinions about all these Greeks. He had strong opinions about everything. That's true. <laughs> it was kind of his profession to have strong opinions about things. Right. That was his bread and butter, being opinionated. Yeah, it's hard to be a philosopher without opinionating. Yeah. Being opinionated. Opinionating yourself. That's a word. So now I'm going to show you a trick with the stethoscope. You showing me a trick or are you showing all of them? I'm showing footage? everybody. Everybody a trick. A trick. Another okay. spoiler coming up. How to use the stethoscope. So you apply the stethoscope. Can you just redact this part? No, I'm not redacting my spoiler. <laughs> I'm strongly opinionated that people shouldn't be in the forums talking about the game, looking at screenshots, and watching videos. Uh oh, I hear a jackal howling at the moon. That's not good. If they and don't want to be spoiled. If they don't want to be spoiled, they shouldn't be doing that. I'm tired of seeing that in the forums. Hey, uh, you need to redact your spoiler comments. What the heck am I going to say about this game that's not a spoiler? A guy put a spoiler alert on a screenshot earlier. And I was like, well, man, you know what? Or the description for the screenshot, whatever it was. So maybe I'm going to post some redacted screenshots. Like it'll just be, I'll black out <laughs> my character and whatever monster he's facing and be like, spoilers ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would be a good idea. Anyway, with the stethoscope, what you can do is, like I stethoscoped that gnome and it set, gave me his armor class. So apparently it's a handy thing to... Uh, to read it and say, oh, wow, he's got a low armor class, then the armor he's wearing must be enchanted. Oh. Right? Sure. But, I mean, on the spoiler thing, you know, this game has been out for, like, 20 years. Yeah. You know, I mean, sure, when a game first comes out, like, I don't know, when Bloodborne comes out, if people are giving you the end game, in Bloodborne, yeah. Before it comes out, when you're not even asking for it, when you're just you know, in a forum to see if the game's any good, and they're like, "Well, it was all right until you get to the end, and that such and such happens." Well, that's not fair. Nobody's had a chance to play it except that d bag that said that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but right. this game, come on, <laughs> they have entire websites dedicated to it. Oh boy, that's a were jackal. Oh no. That's not good. First of all, risk of being aware. Second of all, were jackals are no joke, man. Yeah. And they don't respect Elbreth and they're oh, 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 this dog is the best. I'm gonna cast healing on him. There you go, Socrates. Well freaking done. Knock down a were jackal in one go. You gotta keep Socrates with you. Oh, I'm keeping him with me. Don't just leave him somewhere like some people do. Yeah, some people don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> you 
love for their pets at all. It doesn't Some people seem. will just abandon their pet at the very first opportunity. And, you know, you shouldn't do that to your dog. No. It's not nice. So, so well done, Socrates. I got two cram rations out of that. Looks like, see, there you go. Look at this. I'm seeing all the uh, neutral monsters. Isn't that crazy? I never knew that would happen. I didn't know that would happen either. Yeah. Neat. Not likely to get a pickaxe, though, because I won't be killing dwarfs. But Well, your dog might. He might. Uh, hello, I'm peaceful. I, I would stay away from that dog over there. <laughs> I cannot vouch for my animal, but I'm good. Get him, Socrates. Get that pickaxe. There we go. Got it. Now, the only danger here is... <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> exactly, yeah. It's a 100 weight pickaxe. Now I'm burdened. But it would... Oh, you know what the other problem with a pick would be, though? can't bring killer with me oh know? sure so yeah. I'm just gonna drop the pick as a matter of fact my strength being nine I'm actually carrying a little too much stuff let's get let's ditch the dagger I don't think I'm gonna be I'm gonna level up my dart skill instead of my dagger skill so we'll stick with that and um, yeah you could drink these potions of extra healing to get some of the burden off I don't think you want to do that I'm I'm gonna go for it I I would. I, re, I strongly recommend you don't do that. I did it. It's already done. And it didn't take my burden off. What the heck am I carrying that's so heavy? All this armor? I guess I could drop one of these skull caps. Crested helmet. That sounds interesting. Let's drop this one here. That ought to do it. There we go. Um, because with you not being able to attack anything, and your animal being the only thing that can attack stuff, if you get in a situation where you're getting hit and you don't have a potion to drink, you could be in a bad way. I just, I don't think it's ever a good idea to drink all your potions like that. Yeah. Yeah, and you're probably right. Uh, the dog picked up the iron skull cap, so I'm going to put it on. I know it's not cursed, so we'll just wear it for a little bit of AC. I'm at AC 4, and I should, by all rights, I think, be able to get four levels of protection, which would put me at AC 0 with very little armor on. I'm pretty happy with my prospects that way. Now, I didn't infravision that gnome, so I'm guessing he's hostile. Nope. Maybe I did infravision him. We'll have to review the tape. <laughs> yes. Stop it now. Let's rewind and see. <laughs> Instant replay. <laughs> what the heck, tape? I can still cast healing no fail with this helmet on, which is kind of amazing. Um, you going to kill this dwarf, or are we just going to hang? Yeah! Okay, so I don't have enough energy to cast healing again. There's an acid blob corpse here. I don't think that's healthy to eat. No, I wouldn't eat it. Probably would give you an acid stomach. So Socrates is basically, you know, in his final form. He's got a floating eye here. That, I wouldn't mind going ahead and trying to kill. Uh, let's, uh, of course, it I would be a mistake to quiver these darts, but that one might be cursed, but I'll bet the eight darts aren't cursed. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to quiver these things and then fire them. Yeah, they're not, uh, they're not cursed. So this will give me a chance to level up my dart skill, hopefully, and maybe get telepathy. Uh, according to the Cheaty Cheaty Wiki, all right, are you standing on my darts? Dang it. Get off those darts. Thank you. Oh, jeez. Wrong button. Do you attack him? Yeah. wonder if that re-quivered him. No. Quiver P. There we go. Uh, apparently, plus seven, well, plus two darts are adequate. And apparently, plus seven darts, once you get your skill up, you can fire three at a time, and they're extremely powerful. So, that sounds in. Hey, where'd the floating eye go? He's dead, and he didn't leave a corpse. Well, Either that or your dog ate it. That's rotten. I don't think he did. He might have. If he did, I'm not going to... Uh, you should yell at him and put him outside. I'm not going to hold it against him. <laughs> Smack him with a newspaper and put him outside. If he wants telepathy, he can have it. It's fine. It must be trippy for a dog to have telepathy. Right, well, I mean, he never gets blinded, 
likely, but there you go. That's a well fed doggy. I'm gonna heal him up again, make sure he's fine. Oh, what do we have here? Why it's a chicken. <laughs> oh god, that'd be terrible. I think that's just in slash. Chickens? Yeah. Yeah, it might be. I don't think that's the thing in NetHack. I hope that chickens look like chickens in Slash. Well, I see why I've never really messed around with the dark skills. <laughs> hey, Taco Boss. Hey, what's up, Taco Boss? We'd like for you to please play Last of Us. Uh, man, not likely, uh, but uh, yeah, you got to be playing a lot of Vulture this weekend, probably. How's it going with you, man? You've been playing a lot of The Last of Us? Quiver. P. Right, these darts just do no damage, man. And yeah. when they do hit, and they don't hit very often. So, I mean, this episode, I'm going to call it the, uh, you know, attack of the floating eye. It's going to seem pretty strange. Oh, no! And it leveled me up! Well, what did you expect? <laughs> I didn't think one little floating eye would do it. That just doubled the cost of my protection. Unless I'm able to de-level myself. So instead of being able to get four points of protection, no problem. It's going to be more like two points of protection now. Level 110 and Last of Us. Level one. Oh, nice. Cool. What are we, 300 something? Uh, five, five or 600. Five or 600? Yeah, man, I didn't... I think uh, I'm 300. You're five or 600. Yeah, I didn't start slowing down in that game until I reached something like 400. I play it a little less now than I did, or a lot less now than I did, I guess. Yeah. Waiting for my dog to show up. He must be busy doing something over here. I wish I hadn't attacked that floating eye. That was so unnecessary. I just wanted to get my telepathy. Did you get your telepathy? No, because he didn't leave a corpse. Second time here. Now I'm concerned about my dog because I'm not seeing him. Well, he's off doing what dogs do. I don't know. I don't know. He was just here a second he's ago. Rolling around in poop or something. I hope that zombie didn't kill him, but I didn't get the message that, you know, you have a sad feeling. It's this little lantern. It's never going to be a magic lamp, so. We'll leave it there. Um, I am. Not too hopeful for my pet. Oh, uh oh, giant bat. <clears throat> that could be bad. You know what? I think I'm going to wind up leveling up. This protection racket thing's not going to work out. Well, that's a shame. Well, yeah. And there's it, always, if you do the credit stun thing, though, you'll get enough money, maybe, still. Weren't you still planning to do that? Yeah, I was still planning to do that. So I guess we'll just see. Maybe I can get at least a couple points of protection. But without my pet, it's going to be hard to get down there without leveling up again. Did you go down without him? I don't know why I didn't cast healing on myself. Yeah, we might have to try this healer thing again. I did, well, I don't think he's alive anymore. I couldn't find him where he was supposed to be. Whoa! Now that rolling boulder trap could be a way to kill some monsters. If I can get to it before that iguana gets to it, I'll uh, trigger it. Ouch! And it killed the iguana. There you go. There's a good way to kill monsters without leveling. Now I'm about to get trapped by some zombies, though. They're sleep resistant, if I remember right. We need to get one of those message things that tells us when people log in, you know? Uh, yeah, I actually know how to do that. 
Like the name uh, of the person. There he is. He must have fallen down a trap door. All right, we're still in this. And you gave up hope on poor Socrates. You just left him for dead. You're like, oh, well, he's probably dead. Nah, I had a feeling he might be down here. You lie. You lie. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. You had a feeling. Mm -hmm. See, it's peaceful. Ooh, yeah, centipede. Sure, my dog will mop up that situation in a minute. I mean, we can always try the thing with the praying enough to piss your god off to. Uh, uh oh, you feel dizzy. To de-level you, uh, I think the message he gives is something like, uh, "Fool, thou must relearn thy lessons" or something like that. Yeah, I think you've gotten that message before. <laughs> I think I have. Yeah. I think there's a very good reason you know what message he would give you. Got any darts? Nope, just a sling. Well, how many? How long far do I have to go before I find the? Ah, here we go. Staircase down. I mean, yeah, we might just try it. That's kind of a part of our plan. So, yeah. See, this is the level. We're here already. No worries. Yeah, I just take any time at all. I'm not accustomed to angering my God on purpose. You know, that seems a little crazy. I, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I mean, you and I are very pious players. You know, I think it's fair to say. Uh, sure. The black naga hatchling escapes upstairs. What's this thing? Baby crocodile? <laughs> uh. <laughs> help! Don't cry. Help! Okay? Help! <laughs> <laughs> You might want to cut your video for YouTube now. <laughs> Let's heal the dog. Alright, well, I uh, successfully made it to Mine Town. So for all my YouTube watchers, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And uh, come back for the next episode of this crazy plan of ours. Thanks for joining me now. See you, everybody. We're still here, Twitch. <laughs>